Thank you, Patrick. Yeah, good to see you again. Uh, I got to tell you guys, Emmett Cunningham has been trying to get me to come to this meeting for so many years. Uh, he used to text me before them. He doesn't text me anymore, though. Uh, but it's a thrill to be here. And I want to compliment Emmett and Bill and the organizers. Uh, you guys have done a great service to this industry, and I'm so proud to be part of it. Aldera is a publicly traded company. Uh, I will try and make as many forward-looking statements as humanly possible in the next six minutes, but these disclosures are important as they relate to the quality of forward-looking statements, the obligation or the lack thereof to, up to update those statements, and so forth. I um, would like to make a forward-looking statement, and that is that we have the potential to be the next novel entrant in the dry eye disease marketplace. We also have the potential to be the next novel entrant in the allergic conjunctivitis disease marketplace, although I will say I don't believe there has been a novel entrant in about 40 years in allergic conjunctivitis. By novel, I mean new drug, new target. I don't mean old drug, new target, or new drug delivery. This company was founded uh, over 10 years ago now with seed funding from Johnson & Johnson. I like to say uh, pre-napkin, just an idea, uh, uh, seed funding from J&J and Domain Associates that then led uh, to uh, four phase three trials that we're currently undertaking at the moment, um, all based around a platform called RASP. RASP is a new immunological target that modulates Th1 and Th2 and Th17 arms of the immune system. Um, at a very upstream and broad-based level. That is the subject of our lead compound, Reproxilap, which is in phase three testing for allergic conjunctivitis and dry eye disease. We recently acquired a company called HelioVision. Um, that is a phase three program now, imminently starting in a disease called proliferative vitreoretinopathy, PVR, which has no therapy. I'll talk more about that. Um, we are panocular, and I don't think there are too many examples of companies that are in phase three testing in the front and the back uh, of the eye. Many of you have seen these data before. We think they are potentially industry-leading data. This is a slide from our phase 2B trial announced last year. Uh, Reproxilap as a novel, potentially novel entrant in the dry disease marketplace with two week activity both on symptoms and signs. I have never understood why companies pick time points. Uh, we are not interested in particular time points. As a clinician, I was never interested in particular time points. I am interested in how patients do over time, and that is our statistical method agreed upon uh, with our colleagues at the FDA to assess our phase three program, the RENEW trial, which is currently ongoing uh, as we speak. In fact, we look forward to completing the first part of RENEW, that is RENEW part one, uh, by the end of this year. It is an adaptive trial. We will then announce the design and nature of RENEW part two, the pivotal phase of RENEW. But these are our sign and symptom endpoints, and as you can see, uh, we are in the p-value business, and we're proud of the statistical significance we achieved in phase two. I've never seen a slide like this from any other drug. Um, if you know of one, please text Emmett. He will then text me before the next IOS, I, I'm sure. Uh, this is essentially every symptom and every sign that is assessed in dry eye disease. And um, uh, you can see the drug outperform vehicle at least numerically, in every case. And I think this speaks to the broad activity of RASP as an immunological target. I don't want to say too much on allergic conjunctivitis. We released positive data from the Alleviate Phase three trial in March of this year. Uh, we've been in discussions with the FDA about our next Phase three, which we have informed the street we will update on this quarter. I have a feeling that update will be imminent. Uh, these are data not from Alleviate, but from a chamber study, which will be the subject of the next phase three. Uh, we released this earlier uh, this year. Um, uh, both strong activity and symptoms uh, in terms of um, uh, itching and also investigator-assessed um, redness. I'm particularly interested in allergic conjunctivitis 
It is a disease that affects one third of the world and one third of those folks don't do well with antihistamines. So that's one ninth of the world times six billion, that's two thirds of a billion people. I think it is probably the largest market in ocular inflammation and as I mentioned at the beginning of the talk, depending on how you count, I don't think there's been any novel innovation in about 40 years. Proliferative vitreoretinopathy retinopathy is an interesting disease. As I mentioned, no therapy, uh, certainly no cure. Uh, we are good at reattaching retinas. When retinas come off the back of the eye, surgeons are generally very good at uh, performing retinal repair surgery. Unfortunately, we are bad at preventing scarring that occurs uh, after retinal reattachment. Uh, the only way to treat the scar is to surgically remove it, reattach the retina, more scarring occurs. And there's a vicious cycle that eventually results in vision loss. Um, it, we've been successful in achieving orphan designation for PVR as well as a couple weeks ago, breakthrough designation from the FDA. The phase three guard trial will initiate imminently, and that is based on the design you see on this slide. Uh, Dean Elliott's group out of Mass Eye and Ear uh, showed that uh, over a series of uh, weekly injections with ADX2191, uh, the prevention of PVR is dramatic, whereas untreated, about 50% of patients recur. So a lot going on at Aldera. We are uh, gearing up for a very busy remainder of Q4. As I mentioned, uh, the initiation of the guard trial and PVR, we will update shortly on the next phase three in allergic conjunctivitis and the completion of Renew Part 1, upon which we will guide on Renew Part 2 in a dry eye disease. Uh, thrilled to be part of this community, and thank you all for listening. <laughs>